welcome to Dermscan Laboratory located in Lyon, France. My name is Anne Sierra and I am the Scientific Communication and R&D Manager of Dermscan Group. Dermscan is a private and independent clinical trial center. We are specialized in safety and efficacy evaluation of all products dedicated to skin and its appendages such as hair, nails or mucous membranes. Since 1990, Dermscan is recognized worldwide for its expertise and the quality of its studies conducted on human volunteers. In that context, Life720 asked us to determine the efficacy of one of their products, the soap STDL Energy Cube. Its efficacy was evaluated on several cutaneous parameters, wrinkles, moisturization, elasticity and color. Before and after treatment pictures were also taken and a subjective evaluation questionnaire was filled at the end of the test. The clinical study was conducted in one of our facilities, Dermscan Asia, located in Bangkok, Thailand. 27 Asian women were recruited. They were between 53 and 67 years old. They had to present dark complexion with blotches as well as wrinkles and sagging skin on their face. Women were asked to use this soap twice a day for 28 days. Specific instructions for use were given to them. was forbidden on the face during all the study. The efficacy measurements were performed before, after 7 days and after 28 days of use of the soap STDL Energy Cube. Anti-wrinkles action was measured on the crow's foot with the 3D Primus Lead device which allows direct in vivo measurement of skin relief parameters. On that graph, we can see that a significant decrease in the depth of the wrinkle was measured with time. After 7 days, we observed already a decrease of 13%. The wrinkles are visualized here, and on D0, the blue colors indicate deep wrinkles. After 7 days, a decrease in the wrinkle depth and a smoothing of the surface can be clearly seen. Moisturizing efficacy was measured on the cheekbones with the corneometer evaluating the hydration rate in the superficial layers of the skin. The results demonstrated a significant and progressive increase in skin moisturization with a gain of 12% already after 7 days. Elasticity of the skin was measured on the temple with the cutometers, a device analyzing the biomechanical properties of the skin. Here again, a significant improvement of the cutaneous elasticity was measured, reflecting a younger behavior. The color of the skin was measured both on normal skin and more specifically on the selected spots with two devices. Mexameter, which provides the melanin index in relation to the melanin content of the skin, and spectrocolorimeter, which gives information on skin luminosity and its pigmentation degrees. We observed with time a significant decrease in the melanin content of the skin, reflecting a skin more fair, and the lightness of the blotch also increased significantly. Pictures of the subjects were taken before and after 7 days and after 28 days with the visual imaging system, allowing to take pictures in a very standardized manner. A global improvement of the skin complexion can be seen on these pictures. After 28 days, the skin is more luminous, the complexion is more homogeneous and the skin appears more tight. Finally, at the end of the study, all subjects completed an evaluation questionnaire in order to know the subjective appreciation of the product's efficacy, its tolerance and its future use. All the subjects appreciated the product and its texture. All women saw their skin improve with time. 
more than 90% would like to buy it at the end of the study, which is very promising. I am Corinne Beignet, project manager at Dermscan France for more than 15 years. I have supervised the evaluation of STD Health Energy Cube in collaboration with the team of Dermscan Asia. We have studied many different parameters and it's not quite often that all of them improve significantly after one month. After only one week, these improvements are all the more unexpected. According to my experience, I was surprised to observe such good results, especially for our Rinse product. Dabscan Group was pleased to take part in this interesting project.